I would like to welcome you to the world of Push TV. Are you ready for the comedy? Episode so good, it feels like an anomaly. Showtime is the star. It's Push TV, no Strong TV. Welcome to the world of Push TV. If it isn't Showtime, who would he be? Welcome to the world of Push TV. Welcome to the world. Welcome to the world of Push TV If it isn't Showtime, who would he be? Welcome to the world of Push TV Welcome to the world of Push TV I bet that you'll laugh Why? I got a few hunches Your sister, brother, cousin, daddy, and mama do want this You don't want to miss none of the comical punches Gonna make you bust the good like abdominal crunches Ow. You must be watching Push TV If it wasn't Showtime, who else? Would he be? It begins in no time, so would we see? Tune in, take a seat, welcome to Push TV! Hey, please welcome to another, another episode of Push TV, man. It's going down. I'm Showtime. Oh, right. Boy, this is, uh, we here for y'all another Tuesday night. Now, how many TV show hosts y'all know to go stand out here and put some gold right next to the water? season and we also want to say thank you for staying tuned you know into 2012 and keeping it moving we want to say you know check out the winter bash online you know pictures and uh, also some footage from the winter bash from uh, the push tv had down at casablanca's and appleton and just say thank you very much push tv is blowing up man we starting to grow bigger and bigger every day and we always on the move that's all right now you gotta catch me a little shut out man i gotta get some sleep yeah yeah <clears throat> i hope y'all see it Oh. oh me, oh my, what a beautiful day it is out today, I wonder what the poor people are doing, oh my kidding, no I don't, <laughs> no, and to think, all of this came from that wretched, god forsaken TV show, Push television. <laughs> then with their round table discussions and, 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 and trying to help kids. Doggy and Sharky. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, 
The American public will buy anything, won't they? But that's just fine with me. As long as I'm here at my beautiful estate. Or because of that silly television program. <laughs> Thanks to all my... fans. <laughs> <sighs> oh, oh, what the? Oh no, we ain't going out like that, Push TV. Never ever. That's why we gotta stay true to the people who made us who we are today. We gotta stay true to the fans. Stay true to all the viewers. We gotta do it bigger, even bigger in 2012 with more free giveaways, more hilarious skits, more, 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 more. <laughs> Just more everything. We gotta keep it like that, push TV, but y'all say y'all to stay tuned. And guess what? This year, 2012, we stepping it up a notch. Cash giveaways. We're gonna start having cash giveaways on the show, man. So y'all continue to stay tuned and, and don't worry about none of that happening. You know, I don't know. I ain't, I don't get like that around money. <laughs> Peace, this is push right. TV. Once again, man, we here with my man, the king, King Khaleesi. And you're about to hit y'all sides of the head with a very, very important announcement, man. Why don't you tell them what's going on down there, College Avenue, 3, uh, th three zero two five and a half, College Avenue. What's going okay, on, man? What's good, man? Once again, appreciate you yeah, having me on the show, man. But once again, like you said, man, it's going down New Year's Eve, that is December 31st, Saturday, at the queue, man. You do not want to miss it. The New Year's Eve ball, man. The ball. The ball. It's like a ball. It's not a badge. It's right. a ball. It's a ball, man. The New Year's Eve ball, man. It's going down. We're going to have a great night. My man Showtime is going to be in a building. He's going to be man. He's going to be. I, no, he he gonna be hosting. I'm the co-host. That's how we go. No, I just flipped it. Up. So it's gonna be host slash co-host all night. Like we, yeah, we get co-host. But hey, y'all y'all don't know where Q is located for all the push TV viewers who haven't been there yet. It is uh, connected to the Best West and right behind the Old Bavarian. So make sure you find it once again. That's 3025 and a half West College Avenue. Why don't you tell us about some of the things that's gonna be going on at this very special event, man? New Year's Eve. Everybody wanted to know where push TV was gonna be at. What we was gonna be doing and we're telling y'all right now so take notes right now so what can they expect that man that's some of the things well if you ever been to the queue man you know that's the party spot it's a nice little elegant place that we have set up now yeah, the down on college avenue you know what i mean so if you ever been to a, a party or anything like that there you know how we do it but that night we will have dj trey hundred in the building also a special guest dj man and i ain't gonna tell you who that is oh, but we rocking it out we rocking it out all night and not only are we going to be open all night, literally, man, to the a.m., man. That's what I'm saying. So we want y'all to come party with us. Come kick it with Iowa Entertainment, Push TV. Come kick it with us all the way up to the countdown for that free champagne toast that night, right? That free champagne toast is going down. And on top of the free champagne, you still can come get your own bottle started about 40 bucks. Oh. So if you want to do it big like that, we do have bottle service. VIP service, but get there early. Don't don't be yeah, showing don't up at you know, no eleven fifty seven. No, be in the building. No, you're gonna be stuck at the door. We are ID and we check everybody. We're like checking that. <laughs> Yeah, so, hey, however that free champagne toast, that's only the beginning, man. We're going to be up, open a little, 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 a little bit later, after, you know, after you normally ready to go home, we still going to be pushing it that night, man. What are some of the other features you got going on that night? I want to tell them about Countdown. And me and Showtime, we sat together and we decided what's the hottest songs of 2011, man. So we're going to give y'all those hottest 10 songs of 2011 that night periodically throughout the night, so you still gonna get your party on and guarantee they gonna be some top 10 songs. So come out, enjoy that. As well, we got my boy Kirk Crummy in the building doing the photography. Oh, He'll man. be there so you can get your fly fit. Right, as you know you gotta come. Yeah. See, Look so at you gotta come, hard. yeah, you gotta come get your, your, your pose on, you know what I mean? So we gonna be having the camera guy there. And then as well as that, we gonna be doing what else? Man, we're going to be doing a number of things, man. Push TV going to be in the building with tons of free giveaways, things of that nature, man. The cameras will be rolling, so check out your chance to be featured on, new, uh, you know, Push TV with your New Year's resolution. Let the whole world, well, that, the Fox Valley, Green Bay, uh, Charter Cable, uh, all type of cables, right, everybody. <laughs> Let yeah, you know just cable. Yeah, yeah, all kinds of yeah, just cable. <laughs> yeah, and YouTube. Don't forget about YouTube. Oh, yeah, YouTube. YouTube. It's on YouTube. 
You know, we, so we moving in so many different directions. We want to take you with us, but well, you can only do that if you come down and kick it with my man and myself at the New Year's Eve ball at the queue. Y'all see the flyer up right now. Y'all don't see the flyer on Facebook. Y'all see it right now. So don't act like you don't know what's going on. Can I say, can I say something? Else? Yeah, please do. Um, and remember, New Year's Eve ball. Now we going with a black and gold Ooh. slash. Silver team. Okay. You know okay. what I mean? So come dress to impress. Bring this your shinies is, out. It's not a pack of party. You know what I mean? It ain't the, you know what I mean? Come come looking nice. You know what right, I mean? Right. If you eligible, you single, you know what I mean? You might see that special someone that night. So make sure you come dressed to impress. None of the flip flops, none of the white tees, none of the jogging pants, none of, come on. Go to the mall, get you a nice little button up, and let's do it big for this night. For real, we're gonna do it real big, so make sure you come hang with us that night. No doubt, man, it's gonna be a huge night for the fun, entertainment, for the Ion uh, Iowan entertainment, for the Push TV entertainment. And you know, one thing we wanna do is make sure everybody come out, have fun, be peaceful, have a good time, smiling faces, man. We're gonna get out of here, but before we go, I want you to remember three, uh, 3025, 3025 and a half. And a half. And like, you know, if you got like a hole, it's like, then you go like over here, over that's half. Like, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's 30, 20 and a half. Right, behind the hole, but very in there. Yeah. Man. We want to see y'all there at night. Free things, free giveaways, free champagne toast. Book those rooms now, man. Yeah. You better book those rooms now if you don't feel like driving and doing all of that. We write the text to the hotel. Call the Best Western man, get you a right on the room if you're trying to do that. If not, it's a bunch of hotels right in the area within walking distance. So that's something that you probably want to jump on tonight because like I said, we're going to be up to about 7 a.m. partying. Right. And we legally can do that on New Year's Eve, so make sure y'all come out. Man. Don't wait till the last minute, though. We want to see y'all bright and early, man. We finna get it in. No Real problem. talk. All right, we're going to get up out of here, man. Until next time, y'all check out this next clip. See you there.
Avenue, man. Yeah, hey, don't touch my teeth, man. Hey, stop touching it, man. Hey, man, if you want cheat, man, we need to talk to the owner, man. Hold on, hold on. Can we talk to the owner? Hey, hey, hold on, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to get the owner in the building. Why don't y'all tell them a little bit about the specials that we have going on here at the Sugar Shack on College Avenue? Yeah, check me out. I got two cent candies. I got some 50 cent Wildwood stores. All kinds. Of 50 candies. cent? 50 cent. Oh my God. Wait, hold on. Let me zoom in on the Country Curl. Oh my God. On College Avenue? On College Avenue. Once again, here with y'all for the roundtable discussion. I'm Showtime. It's your boy Provoc, EC Affiliate, and I'm Big Al. Man, thank y'all for being here tonight, man. So, you know, we definitely want to jump right in, dive right in, and hit y'all with uh, hit y'all with tonight's my uh, tonight's topic. You know, we want to talk about the recently uh, uh, contributed, uh, the recently finished Martin Luther King Monument down in Washington D.C. Man, you know, I think it's about time. Man. Yeah, it was a and long time. I think, time it's, I think it's well overdue. You know right. what I'm saying? The man got his own holiday, got his own day. So I think it was, it was, it was past due, man. Right. Yeah, I agree, man. But you know, some of the things that you know, is is as good as it is, and as glorious as it is that it has happened. You know, I know earlier we had a discussion about you know, why did it take so long? You know, it's been years since he had a national holiday. You know, and there's even states within the within the union that still don't necessarily want to recognize Martin Luther King Day as a on a national holiday. Uh, even besides that, why has it taken so long for them to be able to, you know, complete this monument, which we all were in agreement for a long time that was just due, you know, so, you know, that's 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 one of the questions that's raised right away. I think it just goes to show that we, we're not exactly what we need to be as a people. Right. You know what I'm saying? That we, we have grown from uh, certain situations, but at the same time, there's still a lot of work to be done. You know right. what I mean? Uh, racism still does exist. You know what I mean? You can see it in all fashions of, of life. Right. I honestly feel like it's just another bone thrown at us. I mean, it's 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 it's, it's good, and it's it's it, it, it's it's special, but I just feel like it's another bone thrown at us, you know, because everything is always geared towards Martin Luther King. You know, you got Malcolm X, you got Marcus Garvey, you know, you got a lot of people who uplifted black people and brought us so far. You know, why is it just Martin Luther King? You know, right. You know, I think I think a lot of it has to do with, you know, when you think about, uh, you know, Black History Month, you know, they highlight people like Martin Luther King and Rosa Parks because both of their approaches were peaceful, non-violent type of things. You know, they were non-threatening. So a lot of times, you know, they want to put that into the books and right. put that, feed that to the children when, you know, a person who may have had just a, a biggest impact, a biggest uh, uh, impact like Malcolm X, who... He said, by any means necessary. You know, Marcus Garvey talked about, you know, getting your own. So, you know, those are not always as pretty and as easy to stomach, you know, for everybody. You know? Yeah, but I mean, it wasn't, I understand that, but it wasn't a pretty time. It was a violent exactly. time for black people. Exactly. So, you no, know, I'm yeah. not saying, right. I'm not saying it's right. I'm saying that's why, right. you know what I mean? But, you know, like, you know, it, uh, you have to tell the, the, the whole story. Right. You know, right. I don't want my kids to know half the truth. You right. know, I know y'all don't want that, right. you know. No, so it's like, you know, you got to show the violent side because it was a violent time, you know. Right. And these people, like uh, Malcolm X was a self-educated man, and he spoke to college students. And, you know, he, he, he believed in what he believed in 100%, you right. know. And he pushed that on us, you know, to believe what you believe in 100%. Go hard with it, you know. Man, whatever stories y'all got, whatever feedback y'all got for us on this particular topic, send uh, your information to push tv at live.com you know also check us out on the website man we would love to hear from y'all y'all see the website on the screen right now and make sure when you visit us uh sign up to be a member on our website so we can chit chat with you hit you back you know with all the uh, announcements and updates from push tv again we appreciate your feedback so make sure you send it in i got a question for y'all out there and for us right here what kind of change would y'all like to see you at home and us within our community as far as black people. Man, I want to see us uh, start uplifting each other, man, and helping out as much as possible in the community. Because, you know, remember back in the days, 
you run over and you see in Miss Gardner's uh, yard or I'm doing something bad, she come over there and be like, uh, Miss Gardner popped me. Like, yeah, that, I told you she could. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody was connected, you know, yeah. and you couldn't run past nobody's house and do something crazy without somebody telling or helping out and looking out for each other. We need to look out for each other, you know what I'm saying? Like, each other's kids and, you know what I'm saying, the things that's going on in the community. And look out for each other, man. Basically, that's what I feel. Yeah, that's a good point, man, because that, you know, that'll help everybody overall. You know, one of the things I want to see is just, you know, more people with skills and talents and, and, and abilities working with the youth to teach them those same skills, talents, and abilities at a younger age. So by the time they get to our age, they masters at it, you know, as opposed to them having to go through things. And, you know, by the time they get 30, they're just learning a skill or, you know, an attribute. So I, I really, I'm big on mentoring. I'm big on the apprentice, you know, the master and the apprentice and, you know, passing things down at an early age. That's what I think we can improve on. Indeed, I agree. I think uh, as far as uh, as a black community, I would like to see uh, a black history class in school. Yeah, I would like to see that. That would be, I think that would be good for not only black people, but for everybody, you know, because black history is a part of American history, so. Right, because history itself helps you understand the people, so. Right, you know. so you know, if you if, if you understand what we've been through and where we and where we come from, then you understand us. You know, that's right. for, that's for everybody. You right. know, right. we and all we all been to school and we know that chapter in that book and that history <laughs> book is one of the shortest chapters in the book. So. Yeah, the fact that it's just one chapter, ain't, you know, you know what I'm saying? Saying? that little one small chapter ain't doing us no justice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You, got, you got the course in college. Right. But why do we have to wait all the way to higher education to get right. that, that course? You know what right. I'm saying? And what about the people that don't go to college and get to take that race and ethnicity class? Then what? They just don't get to know about nothing, nothing, nobody else other than their own culture? And, and that That's kind of, not fair. And that kind of feeds into stereotypes. Because right. some people right. just don't know better. And, you know, yeah. and they, sometimes it ain't because they try to be mean. They just don't know. Right. <laughs> They're it not take, it, it takes a community to raise kids. You know, right. Everybody has to be together as a community. So everybody has to understand each other. Not just black people. But you got to understand everybody, Native Americans, Spanish, Mexicans, whites, it doesn't matter. You got to understand everybody, you know? Right. Yeah. That's, that's most important because if you want to be understood, you got to understand other people too. Right. No you can't just expect other people to understand you. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, they don't understand me. Well, you ain't trying to understand them either. So, you ain't doing it. Nobody yeah, it's, like, it's definitely vice versa. You know, you, you, you must learn about other people and other cultures. Right. Right. That's a good point, man. So, you know, that's, that's one thing we can do, start the movement, you know? Get, get, start your petition, go talk to your teachers, go talk to your administrators, go talk to your school principals, go talk to the school board, and let's, you know, let's suggest it. Find out what you can do, Push TV. For more information on that topic, you know, you can hit us up at the website as well. I'm going to have a little blog on there about that, so y'all check that out, man. And until next time, y'all know what to do. Stay busy. Push positive. Peace. The bank told me they gonna they was gonna repossess my car, but then I drank the Ravens Kool-Aid. They came and repossessed my car and my house. Now I don't got no bills. Thanks, Reverend. Uh, how's it going, man? Uh, can, can we help you? I'm here for the party. Uh. Where your costume at, man? Please. Yes, sir. I those clips, man, but I just wanted to get y'all, hint y'all in on a little secret, you know what I mean? I got a new info, man. We got a mixtape coming out called Time's Up. Man. All your MCs out there. Most people knew that this whole movement started with push music. Right. And the idea was for us to keep pushing music out, man. So somehow, the music guys taking on this. So <laughs> that, that got thrown to the side and Push TV was born and the Push Foundation was born. So, right. like, you know, it was a blessing in disguise. But however, the mixtape is coming out. Man, so make sure you stay out, tuned man. for that. And what we're going to do is we're going to do something that's so present like, we're going to allow our fans to pick our last track on the album. It's so interactive mixtape, man. I'm going to get us up to get to do that. 
So hit us up on Twitter at Push Television, or you can hit us up on our Facebook, or you can send it, an email in to us at pushtv.live.com. Make sure you get it in ASAP, though, because the, the mixtape is in process right now. Definitely, man, no doubt. And because Push TV is also futuristic, this is going to be primarily a digital campaign, man. You can get a hard copy if you absolutely need one, you know, if that's how you roll, if you do it old school like that. But for the most part, we're going to be doing digital downloads, you know, we're going to be online. It's going to be interactive. You can get it on Facebook, iTunes, all that. So, you know, the one thing to keep in mind is that you know, we're doing it for y'all. We're doing it for the fans. Fan a lot of them think that just because we're doing a TV show now, just because we mess with the Bush Foundation, it's going to be for you. And we don't got the music no more. But y'all find out soon enough, man. So, for all you individuals that's not on this Push Positive train, we need to get on right now. No doubt, Because man. 2011 was a big year, but we planned on 2012 being an even bigger year. No doubt. So, we got the Bush Foundation. We're going to continue to push music. And we definitely going to push TV. Ah! Definitely going to do that. See, so yeah, see that everybody get on board. Like I said, how could you not be involved with something that's pushing a positive message? Right, man. And, you know, this is the holiday season, so make sure y'all be safe, man. Make sure y'all have fun. You know, New Year's is still up in the air for me and my man. We don't know where we're going to be at or what we're going to do. But whatever we're going to do, we're going to have a good time. We're going to be safe. So we encourage y'all to be the same, man. And like my man said, like Pope Rock said, 2011 was a huge year for Push TV. And we want to thank y'all for all y'all support, all the viewership. Let's continue to grow. Continue to tell your friends about it. You know, continue to you know, talk about the free DVDs. Burn them if you got them. Give them away, man, because let's make this a movement. And make it even bigger and better than y'all before. That's right. And also, it's the holidays, and I just want to give everybody out there a little bit of advice. Don't break your pocket. You don't necessarily need to spend all your money to make sure everybody has it. It's all about coming together and spending time with your family. So don't break your pocket. Make sure it's balanced. Look, man, and everybody who, you know, all the time, y'all, everybody who supported us throughout the year, we're coming to see y'all, man. We're going to have the cameras rolling in your right. town. So, man, make sure y'all continue to watch Push TV. Hey, big up to the Fox Valley again for the winter bass, man. You did big things out there. Thank y'all for all that support, too. You know what? In the meanwhile, stay busy. Push positive.